Cool. I got a different setup this time. I tried with a different mic. You let me know how this sounds while we get ready. We're waiting for seven o'clock for evening prayer. In the liturgy of the hours, you can get the hymn ready. Hymn nine, number 96. This is from St. Francis de Sales. I come before Jesus, help me be born again. Set me on the straight and narrow, forgive me of my sin. Show me how I should live a new life I begin. <laughs> wasn't this bright this morning sorry I'll have to work on that still got a minute Hey, how are you? Praise be Jesus and Mary. Yes. We've got some new names here. Dr. Godwin. Hey, good evening. We have one minute before we start evening prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. I'm using a new mic tonight. Aw, I'm so glad to know that. Thank you, and thanks for tuning in and praying with us. All righty then. All right then, so tonight's prayer, now that I have that song in my head, I have to get this one in my head. <laughs> you guys hear me fine? With my new microphone. All right. Tuesday during Holy Week. God come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Tonight's hymn is number 96 in the Breviary. Perfect for Lent. Draw near, O Lord, our God. Mm -hmm. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. O King exalted, Savior of all nations, See how our grieving lifts our eyes to heaven. Hear us, Redeemer, as we beg forgiveness. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us. Guilty of sinning before you. Might of the Father, keystone of God's temple, way of salvation, gate to heaven's glory. Sin has enslaved us, Free your sons from bondage. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. We pray you, O God, throned in strength, and splendor, 
Hear from your kingdom this our song of sorrow. Show us your mercy, pardon our offenses. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. Two more verses. Humbly confessing countless sins committed, our hearts are broken, laying bare their secrets. Cleanse us, cleanse us, Redeemer, boundless in compassion. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. Innocent captive, unresisting victim, liars denounced you, sentenced for the guilty. Once you redeemed us, now renew us, Jesus. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. So, evening prayer. Oh, it doesn't like my phone. Antiphon 1. They insulted me and filled me with dread, but the Lord was at my side like a mighty warrior. Ack. Is that all right? Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all you who dwell in the world, men both high and low, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp, I will solve my problem. I love that one. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and must leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their name spread wide through the land. In his riches man lack wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. They insulted me and filled me with dread, but the Lord was at my side like a mighty warrior. Deliver me, Lord, and place me at your side. Then let whoever will lift his hand to strike me. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich. When the glory of his house increases, he takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success, yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light any more. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Deliver me, Lord, and place me at your side. 
Then let whoever will lift his hand to strike me. Antiphon 3 You were slain, Lord, and by your blood you have ransomed us for God. Canticle from Revelation 4.11 O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You were slain, Lord, and by your blood you have ransomed us for God. We're reading from 1 Corinthians. God singled out the weak of this world to shame the strong. He chose the world's lowborn and despised, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing, those who were something so that mankind could do no boasting before God. God it is who had, has given you life in Christ Jesus. He has made him our wisdom and also our justice, our sanctification, and our redemption. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world, we praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. Oh, we worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Canticle of Mary, Antiphon. I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. Intercessions. So this is where you would write in your intentions in the comments, and then when I get to the end, I will mention them. The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask him, sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share in your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. Look with love on those who suffer because of our indifference. Come to their aid and turn our uncaring hearts to works of justice and charity. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at last into their fellowship. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. And Michael Shea, are you from Seattle? I know you. 
It says, for, for the forgotten souls in purgatory, for those who have no one to pray for them, for those perhaps who didn't believe in purgatory and now find themselves there, we pray to the Lord, sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. I'd like to pray for my mother-in-law who is in excruciating pain, unable to take painkillers because they make her hands swell. She has neuropathy and she's undergoing surgery on Tuesday and we're concerned about her making it through. So for God's grace in strengthening her and for the salvation of many souls through all the suffering she offers up, she's a true warrior. And for God's will, we pray to the Lord, sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. Well, thanks for praying with me. I don't see any other intentions, so with that we'll, con we'll continue. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, Holy, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. If you join me for morning prayer, you know after morning prayer, I go right into the Auxilium Christianorum prayers. We do this every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Central. And then we go into a meditation on the gospel reading of the day. But for evening, after evening prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours, we're going to say a Divine Mercy Chaplet. So you know I sing it, and that's on my YouTube channel, but I'm not going to sing it in these little evening things. We'll just recite it very quietly and calmly for all our intentions, for those spoken and unspoken. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, oops, yeah, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from where he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have two announcements. This Friday is the start of the Divine Mercy Novena, and there's a link in the description of this video where you can sign up for an email that I will, I will send you every day of the novena with the prayers right from the diary that Jesus asked us to pray for, you know, the intentions, word for word, 
and then into the, a link to the chaplet. Or there'll be a link there where you can listen to a recording of the, the spoken prayers for each day. This way you never miss. They're right there in your inbox. I know you all have email on your phone. And you check your email every day, and you'll never miss the Novena Prayer, right? Which leads us up to Divine Mercy Sunday. And I have a concert that I'm going to live stream from Assumption Paris, Parish in Chesterfield, Missouri. There's a link in the description on how you can get live stream access for this concert, where I will go over the five points of the devotion in detail, singing songs from the, the diary of St. Faustina, she wrote a lot of prayers to Divine Mercy, and I sing them word for word. And I'll intersperse that in between the five points of the devo devotion, and you'll you'll get the the whole gamut of Divine Mercy and Divine Mercy Sunday. So get your access link; it's in the description. And uh, let's see who's who's with me today. Um, Bruno went back to work. AJ from Scotland. Isn't the internet amazing? I love YouTube too. We can pray together from all over the world. And um, from Seattle, uh, RJ Poole. Yes, I have a lot of friends in Seattle. And um, I'm grateful that we still keep in touch via online, right? The, with the time difference, it is uh, going on 7.30 here. And it's only 5.30 there, so evening prayer. I don't know. I had a spiritual director. He would always do evening prayer at 7, and he would do morning prayer at 7. <laughs> so it was, uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was a different schedule. He lived in the mountains, and, and there was only maybe two people at Mass that came. It was quite a reclusive place, a retreat center. It was lovely. I used to go there often. And it would just be like three of the three of us in the chapel doing morning prayer and the mass. And it was a, a lovely back and forth. And we would go round and round on us intercessions for quite a while. So don't be afraid. Wow, Dr. Goodwin's from Saudi Arabia. Oh my goodness, that's a first for me. So don't be afraid to put your intentions in the comments next time. Salinas, California is Reina Castillo. Thanks for joining me. Anybody else want to chime in and tell me where you're from? Um, I think that's about everybody. Max, where are you from? Are you still here? And then, let's see, at the beginning we had somebody. I think everybody said hi. So I'm going to gonna finish with my uh, Francis de Sales prayer. Until next Tuesday. Michael's in Virginia. Wow. Okay. So I wish you a very blessed Holy Week. It's the final stretch. Make it count. You know, it's always hard at the end. Perfectly. Everything. That you decree, your will is fulfilled in me. This day, thank you, Nana Apple. Max is in D.C. All right, Max, so you're an hour later than me. Lip syncing to myself.
done. Amen. Not mine, but your will be done, O oh Lord. All right, everybody. That's all I got for tonight. See you next Tuesday. I shouldn't have turned the music off yet.